my main man, <coughs> Sky to the Zoo. Yeah, yeah, one time already. Now, you go back a long way. You, you, yeah. you back from when we first started. Yeah, long time. Huh? The salvation. Mm -hmm. Once you met your salvation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's Absolutely. it been after that, man? After that first release? Uh, it's been dope, man. You know, it's just been a ride. You know what I mean? Of, uh -huh. of everything I was expecting or hoping for or shooting for and then just living it out and, and seeing what comes to fruition and what really is what it is and what isn't. And that's what all this, this journey has been from then on. You know what I mean? Now, how does that first album link to the rest of your projects? Because there seems to be some kind of, you know, delineation between from the Salvation to the Great Debater to right. JJ versus the Theo versus JJ. Right. There's also some, some kind of thematic connection. Yeah. The way they link is telling the story of me, you know, whether in the forefront or using me as, as almost like a mascot for whoever's listening. Mm -hmm. In a sense of where you starting at, what you want, what you're trying to go for, what you're going after, and then the journey of, of trying to achieve it, and once you're in it, what happens. So, if you look at the salvation, and if you want to take it to Great Debater, Great Debater was really about, you know, success, and that's why the cover was The Cosby Show, because to mm -hmm. me, coming up, that was my picture of success. Mm -hmm. So I could have put money and cars and whatever on the front, because that's success to me too, mm -hmm. but I could have put that on the front, but it would have been typical. Yeah. So when looking for something to put on the cover that represents success, I thought about the Huxtables and I put them on the cover. So that was the whole tie-in with that. Mm -hmm. That whole tape is about success. Records like Test Drive, you uh -huh. know, records like Until It All Goes, uh, you know, all those types of records, man. Those records is about success, you know, and trying to achieve it and what it takes to get it and what happens when you get it or if you don't get it or when you think you got it but you don't. That's what all that's about. The Overse JJ picks up from that because all that stuff is the dream, the success and the dream. So the first half of Theo vs. JJ, the Theo side, is all about the dream. It's more upbeat, it's more, you know, it's a little lighter as far as the celebratory moments and the stories and things like that. In the second half, it gets a little darker, a little grimmer because yeah. it's the reality, you know, it's the JJ side. So that's why I started with the skits where Theo's biggest problem was you know, wondering if his parents was going to be able to pay for grad school or not, and of course they was with it. Yep. With the JJ skit, his biggest problem was trying to get his mother to understand that he was going to hustle no matter what she told him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Because it was the only way out. Yep. So, it just goes from the dreams to the reality, and that links to a dream deferred, because the dream deferred is, is the reality, point blank, period. You know? Because yeah, to me, when I was listening to the dream deferred, to me it kind of sounded like the prequel. Mm. So that's what I took from it. When I right. heard the dream deferred, it kind of took me back to the beginning where you, right. you know, you cast Chi Ali in that video as your reference point, your entry point, kind of, you know what, this is what I want to do. And not right. everybody, you know, kind of figures out that that's right. what they want to do. Right. So when I yeah. heard it, yeah. that's what I got from it. <clears throat> I mean, you definitely, you know, you definitely on the right track with it because the album, it starts with this dream that you have and and the fact that you're like, okay, if you look at the salvation, it's about temptation. It's about which way to go, left and right, pros and cons, and giving in or not giving in. And once you decide to do so or not, what happens? So this is the, this is what happens when you make those decisions. To throw caution to the wind, to give it, go all in, and, and just go for it. So you start with this dream of, yo, we're going to make it, we're going to make it, everything is going to be great. When you have a dream and you're going for it, you only see it going one way. Nobody who ever dreamt thought they weren't going to make it or they weren't going to be successful, they weren't going to live out the dream. When they fighting for that dream, all they see is that pot of the gold end. and the winning and yo, this is how it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. The middle of the album is a record called Realization, uh -huh. where it literally is when you realize this the, thing may this not go the way we thought it would. <laughs> and if it does go the way we thought it would, is it really worth it? What's all around it? What happens yeah. when you're going for that dream and you're so close to it, you can touch it, you're so close, but everything around it is nothing like you thought it would be. So do you go ahead and grab it just because it's right there and it took you forever to get there for the sake of the journey? Or do you turn around and just go home? You know what I mean? And that's what the album's about. And what happens when you go to, like, when you take somebody like a Shakir Stewart? Mm -hmm. Or if, if if that Chris Lighty thing was a suicide, right. you know? What do you do when you give up things to reach a certain level and when you get there, it's not what you thought? What do you do when you're there? I don't know. I, I, I think about that all the time because I know I gave up a lot, you know what I mean? But I know I'm still on my path to where I want to be, you know? I haven't gotten to a, 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 a Chris Lighty success level, rest in peace. I haven't gotten to a Shakir Stewart success level, rest in peace. Because as successful as I've been, those guys made strides in hip-hop that were bigger than what I've been able to contribute thus far. And I hope to be able to get on the path that they was on as far as what they contributed to the game. But, um, you know, you 
do have to give a lot up. You do have to throw caution to the wind. You do have to sacrifice a lot, more than people think and more than people realize. So mm -hmm. what happens, you know, what happens when um when you do all that, you know, yep. and, and then what? If it's worth it and it works out, it's all good. You know what I mean? But if mm -hmm. it doesn't, you can't go back and get that back, whether it's time or whether it's family or whatever it may be, you can't go get that back. So then what happens? And those are things you got to think about when you go towards something, not to discourage anyone to make them not want to go in, but just know what's ahead of you and what's around you, you know what I mean? And that's what the album is really about. That's what the project is, is, is really geared towards. Any last words? Any last shout outs to your fans? Shout outs to my man Old Diesel, who's been rocking forever. He's one of the people who when he listens, he really listens, he gets it. You know, he's always the first one to hear something and, and, and hit me and say, yo, I understand. I got it, you know, and it's, it's a lot of people like that, but he was one of the first to really get it, you know what I mean? So, shout to my homie one time. My man.